today from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here between the Atlanta Falcons and the Minnesota Vikings. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. The Vikings ready to go to work, led out by their quarterback in his third year wearing purple, ninth year overall in the NFL, a pro bowler in Kirk Cousins. The debate about Kirk Cousins continues to rage both among Vikings fans and fans around the league. But when you look at his numbers, you think this is one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Last year broke a string of four straight 4,000 yard passing years with the emergence of Dalvin Cook in the backfield. So while those numbers drop, he was still solid throwing the football. 26 touchdown passes, just six interceptions. Now he's just got to develop an extra target on the perimeter in order to get his numbers back to the previous levels. A first down throw for Cousins. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Intended so the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now Cousins. He quickly to feel it here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some. safety help I would say that'd be a good idea double team him somehow I'm gonna have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense the first carry now for Dalvin Cook Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. The previous play and this is one review. of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first, or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that time. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. And it's caught. It's Tajay Sharp. It'll be a gain of nine, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Third down. The last 
pass catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 18 there and give the Vikings a first down. Well, it's pretty evident when you watch how Minnesota plays, just how important Dalvin Cook is to their offense. A thousand yard rusher a year before, the first one the Vikings had since Adrian Peterson was dominating their carries. And having Cook in the lineup for the bulk of the season, that made Minnesota exactly what their head coach Mike Zimmer wanted them to be. A much more physical team that complemented their defense. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. Cook following the penalty. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. He's brought there are the numbers for Cook from a week ago. 14 carries, 59 yards. And well-liked by his teammates. In fact, I got on good authority, even though I'm not an investigative reporter, that in their team meeting this week, the offensive line stood up and said, Coach, we've got to have better yardage for this guy. He's number nine in the league. He's got to be in the top three before the season's over. Let's run the ball. Second and five from the eight. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. First and goal from the three. Three-yard line. They'll run for it with Cook. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. They try again with Cook. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. Now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Bailey's kick is good. And the Vikings have a 3 0 lead. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. The Falcons take Here come the Falcons, and at the helm, their starting quarterback since the day he was drafted back in 2008. Their all-time leading passer, Matt Ryan. This past offseason was one where the Atlanta organization continued to build around their quarterback, Matt Ryan, because he can still throw the rock. Fifth in the NFL in passing yards last year with better than 4,400. He's a guy who knows how to get the ball to his guys on the perimeter and take care of it, even when he's under duress in the pocket. Sacked 48 times last year. up now first and 10 at their own 26. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. He was brought down by Mike. Get credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there only giving up a three yard game. Now on second down this is Gurley. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And there's a catch by Todd Gurley, and that has to remind us that's exactly what we've seen in him throughout his career when he's at his best. He can run it. He can catch it. He led the league in total yards from scrimmage in 2017 with nearly 3,000. Todd Gurley, when he's on point, is quite a weapon for the Atlanta Falcons. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Yeah. 
Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine at the 38-yard line. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Vikings three, Falcons nothing. Second and nine. Offense. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. 